News. It's been 15 years since Martha Stewart was sentenced for corporate fraud. A federal judge sentenced Stewart to five months in prison, five months of home confinement for lying about a stock sale. This is what she said on this day back in 2004. Today is a shameful day. It's shameful for me and for my family and for my beloved company. We talked a lot about uh, MSO and what would happen if she were unable to lead the company. It was a big risk factor for the stock well before this ever happened. Yes, and it was always a one-person company. Well, obviously a lot of people worked there, but people felt that the price earnings multiple is one because of her. She came one on Mad Money right after she got out. And what I loved was her attitude. When I asked her about what jail was like, she said it wasn't as good as going to Yale. She immediately put it in a context that showed what a magnificent uh, way that this woman has to be able to take an obviously terrible situation and do it. And, you know, really, actually, unfortunately, she did not help herself. She was really basically her own lawyer in the end. And, uh, Comey did not like that, and these were very difficult negotiations. But I think that those days are behind her. We don't think of her as that. And I think that's in large part because of her out outsized, fantastic personality. Um, there. I think that she put it behind her better than anybody else I know. It was shares of Inclone, wasn't it? It was Inclone. Sam Waxel. Got, got the call. Yeah. Got the call. Well, that also was a, instrumental in not having a lot of, uh, kind of years. put a little lid on the insider trading period.